This is introducing another painting I've done in lockdown. It's called Peony and Sage. Uh, the inspiration for this painting is I went into the garden. Obviously, I'm spending lots of time in the garden because it's sunny and uh, I just want to get some, as you can see, I'm getting quite brown now. So I wanted to get some rays on me to keep me feeling in a good spirit. Um, and all the peonies were coming out in the garden. My favourite colour is this very pale colour. Um, the, the ones in the garden that I'm uh, in at the moment are actually dark red. But um, because I'm an interior designer, I like to do quite light colours. Um, so I decided to paint my peony from memory uh, of the beautiful pink ones that you can buy that obviously we can't get our hands on at the moment. Um, so I use these great uh, greens and pinks, lots of different shades I mix to get this combination. And by painting the dark underneath, it just really brings them out beautifully. And then the lighter shade at the top, it just, uh, when it's on a big wall, I've posted some um, by posting these with fantastic backgrounds. So you can see what the painting would look like on different um, backgrounds. So I hope you like what I'm posting at the moment. Um, give me the thumbs up if you do. Um, I will be posting more of all the artwork that I've been doing. And if anyone wants me to paint something in particular, then just drop me uh, a message and I will try and paint it. So I've still got some canvases left. I'm going to order some more. So just keep dropping in and letting me know what you want me to paint. And I will do my best to mimic it in my way and my personality and hope that you enjoy looking at them. They're all available online um, from the interiorco.co.uk. That's my furniture business. I'm an interior designer as well. So I've got quite a commercial eye for art. I tend to know what would look good in a room and what furniture would look good with it. Um, the reason I started painting in the first place was because we couldn't find a painting for a particular job. Um, the client described exactly how she wanted the painting and it just didn't exist. So I went about painting it. We hung it up on the wall and she said, how, you know, the hell did you get that? It's exactly how I described. And I said, well, most paintings that somebody wants, it's actually in your head. So unless you paint it yourself, it's really hard to find. So I basically just painted what she described to me and um, it was spot on. So that's how I started painting. 